All right, the last part of that, part C, is asking you to solve for the length and the width. So you're going to use, instead of x equals, it's going to be w equals. So it's going to be w equals the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. All right, and then you're just going to plug in. So b is 14. So the opposite of 14 is negative 14 plus or minus square root of 14 squared minus 4. A is 1, so we don't have to write that. But C is negative 1632 and then over 2. So we're going to solve for um, this first. So, and then when we multiply these out, it's actually going to be plus a positive. All right, so it's negative 14 plus or minus the square root of 14 squared is 196 plus 4 times 1,632 is 6,528. Right, and then that's just divisible by 2. 196 plus 6,528 is... 6,724 and that's divisible by 2 all right and fortunately this is a perfect square so I'm going to move it up here all right so it's negative 14 plus or minus the square root of 6,724 is actually 82 divided by 2 so you're gonna have two different formulas you're gonna have or equations, I'm sorry, not formulas. Negative 14 plus 82 divided by 2. And negative 14 minus 82 divided by 2. All right, so this one, it's actually going to end up being 34. And this one is actually going to end up being 48. So this right here is your width. And this right here is your length. So if you go back to your first drawing of the rectangle here, here's your length, it's 48, and your width is 34. Actually, if we went back and checked, 48 minus 14 would give you 34, so it works.